everybody, it's Charlie from Daily Motor. Today we've got the DM Commuting Fuel Economy Test on the 2024 Honda Transalp. This is the 755cc parallel twin, entirely new model for Honda here in the US in 2024. I gotta say, I have been really happy with this bike so far having it. It's got a lot of potential, both as an off-road sort of bike, but also as a commuter motorcycle. So I think this test is really relevant today. A lot of people buy Hondas for their reliability, their kind of regular ease of use, and for some cases, efficiency. A lot of Honda motors have been known to maybe not scream quite as enthusiastically as other brands, but get really good fuel economy numbers. So I know some of the numbers being thrown around online are kind of around the 50 MPG mark, but I suspect we're going to do a little bit better than that today because... We tested the V-Strom 800DE with its saddlebags, its side cases, the other day, and uh, the numbers are escaping me a little bit, but I'm pretty sure we were just a hair over 51 miles per gallon on that one. This bike is lighter, similar power figures, a little bit lower than the V-Strom, but less power, lighter, and more aerodynamic, and a little bit better street-friendly tires, too. So I really suspect we're going to see a strong figure out of this bike today. Now in this test, I'm going to head over to the gas station, I'm going to top the fuel tank off, we're going to head out and do 41.5 miles of mixed riding. I'm going to do some city, some kind of 55 mile an hour roads, and some 70 to 75 mile an hour highway. I'm going to try to stay within 5 miles per hour of the posted speed limit on all roads. I'm going to get up to speed um, in a medium manner. I'm not going to ride as hard as I usually do when I'm just kind of cruising on my own, but I'm also not going to baby the bike. We're going to get up to speed as though you were commuting into work on a sleepy Wednesday morning, perhaps, on this bike. A few other things to note for today. Outside temperature is about 65 degrees Fahrenheit, so uh, kind of a, a moderate day here in Southern California. Might even see some rain later on in the day, so I'm hoping I can get all these videos done before that. The tire pressures have been set to their placard 33 PSI front, 36 PSI rear. Now, if you're riding with over 200 pounds of payload, you're going to want to have those tire pressures up. They actually have a posted number for, uh, what is a rear tire when you've got more weight? Let's see. Yeah, 33 and 41 if you're going to be running with more than 200 pounds. But 33 and 36 for my weight. I'm about 165 pounds, 5 foot 10. So if you're much heavier than me, you're going to see less fuel economy than this. And if you're lighter, you're going to see a little bit more. This is also a pretty basic spec of the bike. I think the only thing that might be optional is this um, skid plate. It's pretty metal. I, I'm not sure if the, uh, if the standard skid plate is plastic or not. And this one has heated grips on it as well, but I don't think I'm going to be running them for the sake of science. Without any further ado, I'm going to head over to the gas station. We're going to top this baby off and then head out on the road. A few interesting items of note I also want to point out is this Transalp does not require premium fuel. If you check the owner's manual, it says PON, pump octane number of 86 or higher required. And that's 87 octane for us here in the States. Nothing on the, on the fuel cap or anything telling you to put in higher. So that is something to consider if you're planning on using this bike regularly for commuting that your fuel is going to be a little bit cheaper. Now, I know a lot of people choose to run premium in their bikes, and that's totally fine if you want to pay extra for it and everything, but theoretically speaking, a bike that's not calibrated for higher octane is uh, it's not going to take it. So if you're just going to be cruising along, might as well put in the 87. I don't recommend brimming your fuel tank regularly, but for the sake of science, we're doing that today. We do have a few different drive modes here on the Transalp as well, or ride modes, I should say. We're going to be doing this test in standard mode, but that also has rain, gravel, user, which is customizable, and sport. I've been riding the bike around in sport a lot, but standard is what we're going to use today. I'm going to reset the bike's trip computer here, and we are ready to set off. In the meantime, enjoy this time lapse of the entire ride.
Coming into the end of our commuting MPG test here on the Transalp. Well, this is just such a great bike to ride, ride around daily. It really is. The comfort level's there. Seating position's nice. The weight is not as cumbersome as some of the heavier kind of ADV bikes in this class. And it carries itself well. And that motor just has such a good character for bopping around town as well. The bike has a particularly accurate trip odometer, or trip meter, if you will, 41.5 right there is exactly what we've verified this route at. And I was actually just waiting for this pump to open up, so I'm going to swing around here and pull back into it, get this thing popped off. According to the bike's readout, we've done 52.5 miles per gallon, so a little bit higher than that V-Strom we tested, which is, again, what I expected. Other than that, no real big surprises, although I can't seem to figure out how to get an outside thermometer on here. I've got the engine temp right there, but I don't see, I don't see any way to do outside temperature, so a bit surprising to me, given all the rest of this bike has, if there's no outside temp gauge. So, uh, other than that, I've been really happy, so I'm going to fill this up, and then we're going to calculate our final results. Back from the pump, and we ended up putting in 0.821 gallons back into the tank. So 41.5 divided by 0.821. It's given us 50.55 miles per gallon. So just barely getting that bump up to 51. And that is a little bit lower than the trip rate out here, 52.4. So, um, you know, we're more, more uh, likely that this is accurate. So we're going to go right with that 51 mile per gallon figure. And to be honest with you, I'm kind of surprised it's not a little bit better considering the V-Strom 800DE with its bags and its extra, what, 50, 60 pounds of weight or so was just a few miles per gallon worse. I, I, I'm, the more I'm trying to remember, it was a few days ago, I haven't edited the video yet, but I think it was about 47, 48. I mean, that's virtually the same. And you know, I just, I kind of expect a little bit more from the Honda. So interesting. We do only have a 4.5 gallon fuel tank in the Honda, so 4.5 times that 51 mile per gallon figure. It's giving you an effective highway cruising range of just a hair under 230. We're gonna give it 220, air on the side of caution for the Honda Transalp. And again, I could go for a little bit extra fuel economy, or not fuel economy necessarily, but fuel uh, tank, fuel capacity, just because if you're gonna load this up with maybe a passenger and some gear and you're gonna be running your heated grips and everything, maybe even some knobbier tires, you're gonna be well down into the low 40s for fuel economy and you're gonna have to be getting gas every 170, 180 miles, probably more like 150 just to be safe, not be running it down too low. So, uh, okay, things to consider, things to consider. But again, for commuting, I've really, really liked the bike. I think there's a lot to like about the new Transalp, but a little bit interesting there on the fuel economy. Usually Hondas are known for excelling a bit and um, quite a bit lower than the lighter CRF 300L Rally that we saw, but all in all, I think still an okay figure. So thank you all so much for watching. If you do want to see more on the Transalp, check the link below. We're going to have our review coming up and a comparison with the Suzuki, as well as I believe, depending on timing, we might have a BMW F850 GS comparison coming up. So you'll just have to keep, keep your eye here on Daily Motor to see if that one comes through. And other than that, we'll see you on the next one. I'm Charlie from Daily Motor, and as always, ride on. Mm -hmm.